one of the most key things to trading success is actually having a trading journal and this thing is highly overlooked by a lot of traders and then they don't understand why they are not progressing as traders when it comes to trading one of the most important things that will actually help you up your trading game and know what is working and what is not working is actually having a record like every business out there do have record to know what is working for them the most and what is not working and when it comes to trading also this is very important because it helps you know which of your trading strategy is making you the most money and which of the trading time period the trading time frame and then which of your sentiment when you are trading actually makes you the most money and for you to know all of this is very advisable you have a trading journal and a lot of people overlook this in today's video i'm going to share with you a practical guide right on my laptop on how you can journal your trade and then you don't even need a size book to journal it as there are free softwares that can actually help you journal it or mobile applications where you can actually journal your trade and that one will help you keep tabs of everything over the cloud and easier so with that already said hello guys welcome to my channel and welcome to paris trade and on this channel i mainly focus on how you and i can make money trading from the crypto and forest markets and also the stock market as well so if you need more great videos like this on trading if you're a crypto trader don't worry, I also have some piece of content for you that you can check out, which should be linked down in the video description. I've created a full category that will focus more on everything that you need to know about crypto trade. And if you are a forest trader as well, there's also a category for you to check out that in the video description. So you can go check them out and then look at other videos about trading as well. But before that, watch this video to the very end so you know the right things to do when you are trading, the right information to journal down to help you optimize your trading game. So without taking much of your time, hope you've already smashed on that subscribe button and like this video. And so let's get straight into today's video. So hello guys, when it comes over to journaling your trade, the first thing you actually need is that you are going to need a place whereby you are actually going to journal your trade. So I'm not going to advise you journal your trade onto an exercise book. So having an exercise book is also cool for you to go through it later on. But one of the most easiest way our advice is actually using an online platform to journal your trade. So for example, one of the best softwares you can actually use to journal your trade is actually known as Notion. So simply come over to Google and then search for Notion. So you can simply search for Notion and then download Notion if you are on your laptop or you can download it from Play Store on your mobile phone or App Store on your iOS device. So I'm assuming that you already have Notion. So I'm going to show you how you can set it up to actually better track your trade records. So for that, I'm going to come over to Notion. So for me, I already have it here. So when you open Notion, it's going to take you over to this page first. So this page is where you're actually going to start working on it. So for here, let me just come over and hit on Add New Page. So you simply hit Down here and then click on Add New Page. So over here, you can put in the title here. Let me see. Journal. So you can have it as your journal. And then add an icon to it. So you search for any icon that you think will fit it for you. So you can also search for any. So for example, let me go with this one here. Uh, let me go with green. So you have it here as your journal. And then after that, the next thing you actually need to do is that you can just click on uh, templates. And then you can pick any template that you think will actually help you. So you can see this one here. You can come over to, this one is to-do list. You can also come over to project and tags. Like just keep navigating until you see what actually uh fits the one you want but for me personally our advice you just create one from scratch so for example let me say i like this template here which it says wiki so i'll just click on get templates and then it will be implemented in this page for me so you see once you click on get template it's actually going to override what was here before so what you can actually do in this order is simply come over to your address all pages so in this way, it's going to be arranged in this manner for you. So now from here, you can simply come over and then rename it to your journal. Have it as a trade journal. And then you can change this cover photo if you really care. So for me, I can just leave it the way it is. And then, so after this, now the next thing you actually need to do is I just clear the whole of this place like this. Just clear it off. Delete off. So now that you've deleted on, now it's time for you to actually start taking note of your journals, like taking note of your trades. So look at, now that you've cleaned your trading journal, now you to go over to your trading platform because now you need to start journaling your trade. So to start journaling your trade, the first thing is that you need to make, uh, make sure that you have access to all the trade you've taken, like your broker, 
gives you access to look at your trade like this because you are going to need a trade data to actually record it. So the first thing we are going to do is actually creating a list for our trade. So for example, let's take a look at this trade here. So take a look at this trade. It was taking January, uh, Wednesday, January 31st, 2024. So for that, I'll come over to my notion here. I'll say, so I'll come and add it here saying, So I just say um, 31st Jan 2024. 20, 20, then I'll put the pair that I traded here, Euro JPY. Euro JPY then over here is, you can just leave here like this or you can get it out. So I'm the owner of the node, so that's why it's appearing here. Then from here, you can come over here. It says verification. You can just leave this one and then just even clear it off here since you don't need it. It said delete. Delete that part. And then you see where it says tag. Now here, you need to tag your trade. So was it a winner or was it a loser? So for here, I'll take a look at my trade here. So it was a winner. You can see it was a winning trade. So I'm going to come over to my notion and I put in here winner. So I'm going to type in winner and then just hit on it. So in case you don't have this green color on your own, all you can simply do is pick any of the tags they've given you to by default and then hit on here and then you can go change its color manually. So since it's a winner, I'm, I'm going to put it here as green because you can help the tags can actually help you filter it and then see your trade later. And then another thing is that the time. So for the time, you don't actually have to worry yourself as will be automatically fixed here by the system. So now that you've known um, that, okay, Here's the trade you took, and here's everything. Now, the most important thing is actually the information you need to access inside this uh, trading journal. So, the journal here contains the headline, and it shows you your winners and your losers. But then to see the main information, the reason why you lost and the reason why you won, you need to open up this note here. So, you can simply hit where it says open. You can see it here. You can click here to open a new page, or just hit here like this to open up. So, now, this is the part where you're actually going to record everything about your trade. So for this, just set it to full screen. So I'm just going to set it to full screen like this. Now, you need to put in the information about your trade. So the first thing is actually your PNL, your profit and loss. So for this, let me just hit on it. And then just say, uh, list, look for, you just put in here like normal text. Can I use this one? So you say, profits. You can also use a PNL to save you. PNL also stands for profit and loss. Then after here, then you put, did you make profit or did you make loss? So this one was a successful trade. So let me just use any random figure here. Let me just say dollar. Bring the plus sign for us. Plus dollar 380. Okay, 370. Then I have it here that, okay, it was a winner. So this one shows that I made a plus income. So it was a winner. So now, after having this, that it was a winner, now that, why did you take the trade? So now, this is where your analytics come in. The reason why your analytics is important is because your analytics is what is actually going to tell you how that trade became a winner. Without your clear analytics, you are not actually going to get the real information why you took the trade. And without the real information why you took the trade, your journal means nothing. So for that, I'm going to come over here. And here is where your strategy comes into play. So for me, the reason why I took the trade was that if you should take a look at it, I'm talking about this trade, not this other one here. So if you take a look at this particular one, you can see that. What did you see here? You can see that I, set, I actually signed a, uh, like a descending channel or a descending trend. Like what I mean by a descending trend is that you can see the trend is actually going down. It's actually going down. So if you've been watching my channel, I actively realized that I dropped a video the day I was actually making this analytics. So you can see that the trend was going down. So the first thing I spotted was that I spotted a downtrend. So now I spotted a downtrend. What did I do from the downtrend? So I waited for the market to react back to the trend line again and they showed me a sign of rejection before I actually entered the market. So for that, uh, let me set this at the right spot where I entered the market. I entered the market at this area here. Yeah, this is where I entered the market. So this was the right spot. So I probably shifted it uh, while setting up for the video. So for that, now you come over here and say, so why I took the trade? So you can ask here why I took 
the thread. So this one now you can make it an headline. So I'm just trying to make the things very easier for you so that you know is uh you can easily detect how to make it uh work out for you easily. So let me just make it H2 and then copy this one here. Let me just uh, copy this here. And then come over here to text and then set it to H2. Why I took the trade. One. Spotted a, a downtrend. After. After a long long uptrend so so i'm just going to put it here so this was the main point whereby i met the market let me just take this thing back a bit so i took another trade later on so that's why i said that this arrow continued down this side so let me just draw it over here so it was around here that I actually met the trade because when i came the trade was around this level after creating this uh after moving like this from here to here so i made the trade here so i was also expecting it to create a double uh to create a double top for me at this area so this after i spotted the downtrend the next thing was that i'll come over here one i spotted a downtrend for a a retest at Yes. Hi. At previous lower high. So after I spotted a downtrend, the next thing I look at was I look at for a retest at the previous lower high. So where is it? You can see that this was the previous lower high. So since it's a downtrend, it's creating lower highs. So so here. I spotted this one here. So I waited for this other one to come and retest. Since I met the market at this area here, I met the market at way down here. So I was waiting for it to come and retest this particular area here, and it did. So after I retested this area, then I waited for another thing. The next thing I waited for was that. So the third thing is I waited for. For a. Bearish. So for a bearish bar, so one thing I actually forgot to let you know that this PNL also let me just set it. Let me make it a headline for you so it will be also easy. So PNL. And then this one also, I'm doing it so that it will be easier for you to actually get. Mm -hmm. So this way, it will be easy for you to access. So I have my PNL here, 370, and then other type. So, just come over to heading again. Other type and then come over as also make it a toggle header. Other type sell order and I have it here now. So I waited for a bearish bar and then if I come over to the 15 minute chart on that market, let's go over to the 15 minute. Reset. You can see that on the 15 minutes, you can see that a bearish bar popped up here and then closed. So I entered at the closing point of that bearish bar. That was what I actually used to enter the market. And you can see it down here. And then it was already creating another one before I entered the market. So for that, I also put it down here that I waited for a bearish bar on the one hour chart. One to fifteen minutes. 
and waited for uh, 50 minutes close after the double top. So you can see, so now here's the first thing. I spotted a downtrend. I waited for a retest at a previous lower high. I waited for a bearish bar on the 15, on the one hour chart and then went to 15 minutes and waited for 15 minutes to close after a double top. So in case you can see the double top here, let me go back to my trading platform. So you can see here is top one, here is top two. You can see this is the double top here. If I go back to the one hour chart, you can see that it's more clearer over there than the 15 minutes. Because me personally, I do my analysis on 15 minutes. I just use the one hour to get uh, faster entries in some kind of market. So now I'm back to my hourly time frame again. So after spotting this, now this is where I actually took my trade. So for that, I'm just going to take a, a snapshot. So now we are done with the reason why we took the trade. So here is why I took the trade. Here is everything you need to know about why I took the trade. So after that, I'll close here off. Now the next thing is actually, now that you've known how you took your trade, what was your risk to reward? So for here, I'll put arrow arrow, which also stands for risk to reward. Let me make it stand out. Risk to reward. And then I'll also make it a toggle header. Risk to reward. If you come over to the chart here, you can see. Risk to reward ratio was um 2.78 to 1. Yeah, that was the accurate one. So 2.78 to 1. Something like this would be better to avoid uh confusing myself. So 2.78 to 1 ratio. And I also have it that, okay, I reached that 2.78 to 1 ratio. Now then, the next thing is actually your lot size that you use. So for here, I'm going to put, yeah, so for here, you need to buy a uh, volume. So for here, you can try to put your volume. And then for, if you are someone who doesn't have a fixed volume you use, you can put your volume here. So let me just say, volume. And then come over to toggle header too. So your volume. So one thing I love about trading view is that they actually show you your, your purchase volume. So for this, I can just hit on it, hit on create limit order, and I'm going to see my volume here. So let me look at uh the volume here. Which percentage was so units uh is eleven thousand sixty two. So you can just copy this eleven thousand sixty two and then. So this one shows you that I use more than one lot size. 11,062 uh, units. So in case you don't know how to calculate lot size, you might not understand what I mean by units. So you can go watch that my video. That will be tagged in the video description. That will help you understand what I mean by this unit. So the unit will actually help me know the lot size I use. And this one shows that I use more than one lot size. You can see 11 .6, 10,000 is one lot size. And here is 11,629. So you should calculate from there. So in case you don't understand, you can go watch my video on volume. So now after getting all of this, now you need one thing, which is your emotion whilst trading. So your emotion is another important thing that you need to take note of. So for that, you can simply come over here, say, and then also make it a toggle. Emotion. I was highly confident. So in case you don't know why I said I was highly confident was but let me explain the truth to you so that you know. The reason I was highly confident is that number one, this was a clear uh downtrend. You can see that the sellers keep pushing the buyers out of the market. Anytime the buyers make an uh, attempt, the sellers push them out of the market. And then after pushing them to this area, you can create you can see that. The market decided to use um the market decided to turn this area here. You can see this minor area here. The area decided to turn into a resistance. You see. So I saw this resistance area already. You can see. So you can see that there was one touch here. So here is our first touch. So here is touch one. Okay, let me use my drawing too. 
So here is touch one on the area. Here is touch two. Here is touch three. So this touch three showed me that okay, um, the market is really uh strong and that area is highly respected. So it's a good selling point. So when I, when I saw this, it showed me that okay, it's time for you to actually enter the market. So when I entered here, I was really confident. And now to back up my confidence, what I actually did was that I put my stop loss in above the trend line itself. The reason why my stop loss is above the trend line is because in case the market come back to this trend line here, which is highly pro possible because when a trend is creating, the market is likely to come back and retest that uh, trend line. So in case you come back to retest the trend line, I don't want to get that of the market. So I kept it above the trend line like that. So here yeah, I currently have a losing trade running. Let me show you that particular trade I have today. Okay, it's no more a losing trade. So here is it on a uh, GBP USD. You can see I have a trade currently running. Take a look at the trade here. So I use this uh, break below to actually make my analysis. Like I said, the market here, you can see here was the resistance area and then here was where I entered the market. So I entered the market uh, um, immediately after these two competitive candles. So you can see after this point was when I entered the market. So when I entered the market, you can see that the market is keep moving up and down, up and down, but I'm not going to get that because I have my stop loss very tight the reason why I made this stop loss very tight is simply because in case the market should reverse back to this stop line again, it should just get me out. Because if, if the market can reverse back to this area again, there's high probability that it's gradually turning this area into a support so that it can create an upward trend. But since it's unable to break here, I'll still be confident enough to stay in the market. So for this, I'll be staying in this market for as long as possible until I come and hit my stop loss. Because I'm using a very tight stop loss in this scenario. That's how I take some of my trade now due to the new market movement. So in case the market should go against the current position of the market, let's just get me out with immediate effect. So now going back to my Euro JPY trade again. So now going back to our record again. So now I've, you can see that I was very confident. I've given you the evidence why I was very confident because the market retested this line for the third time. And you can see I will use the fourth one to also place a trade. And I wanted to use it for the fifth time here, but then over here it broke above, so I did not bother placing any trade at that point. So you can see here, after this, this made me so confident. So now you've gotten all the information why you took the trade, but then we are not done. You have your profit and loss was still around seventy dollar profit. Other time it was a sell market. The reasons why I took the trade, you have all the four reasons, and once these four reasons were confirmed, that shows your entry. And then your risk to reward ratio was two point seven eight to one. Your volume, which is the unit you bought, 11,629. This is why you need trading view to actually help you. And then your emotion and your feelings that day, everything was highly okay with you. So after that, you come over here and then say, trade snapshot. Like you need a screenshot of it to actually help you. So at times, for those in my Telegram group, I believe at times you wonder how I get my old trade snapshots and post this because I have them as record. So for this, I'll come over to my trading view. And then there are two ways in which you can actually do. So for me, I have a hotkey that I normally use to screenshot on my laptop, which is the P R O T X C uh button on your laptop. So I can just press on it and it will screenshot for me. Or the other way around, you can hit on this camera here, hit on download image, and it's also going to download it for you. So for this, let me just hit on download image. And then it has downloaded the image for me. So I can, you can see it's a file save to download folder. So I can come over to trading view and paste the one I copied. So I've already copied it already. See, I just paste the one I copied here. Or it's either you do this or you can manually. So it's either you do this or you can manually um come over here and then import the one you downloaded. So for that, it simply is forward slash and then search for image. Now you can hit here and then upload. And after this, you can come over to downloads. And then here is the image here. You can just upload it. So for me, uh, the screenshot makes things faster. So I like going with a screenshot. So now you see you have a full record of your trade. So after this, if you should come over to your trading journal right now, you can see it here that you have your trade here. It was a winner and all the information regarding the trade. So here was the last edited time showing here. So for here, so you need to add can add another thing here simply say date and then for the date here simply come over to um sorry date 
and then full date format, time format, 24 hours, and then this one here, you can simply say today's day, which is the date where you took the trade. Then you have it here. So you simply have all your information like so whenever you are free. So maybe if you are some old trade like me, like you trade, uh you have days whereby you don't trade. So you can simply come over here on your free days. Just come over, click here, and then go through your trade information. So once you come over here, you check your profit and loss. Okay, it was put the plus sign, very necessary. If it's uh, a loss, you put minus there. So profit and loss, it was profitable trade. Other type to the sell market, why you took the trade, you have all your reasons here. Risk to reward, you have it here. Volume, you have it here. Emotion, you have it here. And a trade snapshot to give you an uh, overview of your trade, you also have it here. So once you have them out like this, it will help you better understand the market. And then once you keep uh, repeating this with all your trade, it will help you master the trading market and then keep you profitable. So always make sure that this tag here also help you know that, okay, it was a winning trade. So for example, you can come over here, come over to home itself. And then from here, you can try to filter out your trade by how it went. So for me, I just like keeping it like this. So from here, you can come over to sort by. So for example, you want to see all your winning trade. So you can come over here and sort by tags. So you come over to tag and you say descending. So now you have it here. So if you have multiple, then you have the option to select the tag. And then so you come over to tag. And then you can say you only want to see your winning trades. And then it will only show your winning trades like this for you. That is all. So if you also want to fit out your failing trade and then try to know why you fade, you can also use the same option to also get why you fade. That's simply all. So I'm just going to delete this filter delete sort so now this is simply how you get to journal your trade put all your val valuable information out there so hope you find this video helpful so for more great videos like that for to smash that subscribe button like this video and tell me what you feel down in the comment section as well so without any said have a nice day bye